Hello, and this is Fast Food for the ZX Spectrum, or FAST FOOD! This was originally intended as a tie-in with a restaurant called Happy Eater. I haven't seen one of them for years. I don't know what happens, I think they all got taken over by Little Chef or something. I knew I hadn't seen a Little Chef for ages now. And yes, it's Dizzy as Pac-Man. That Happy Eater sign was kind of like a red face with a hand pointing in its mouth. It looked kind of like a Pac-Man. I don't know whether that was the inspiration for this. So they used to have a badge with I'm a Happy Eater. Not quite sure why he's yellow, but there we are. Maybe he's got gallstones from high cholesterol level eating stuff like that. I had gallstones, no, no joke, I can tell you. Turned bright yellow. After they've removed your gallbladder, they let you keep the gallstones. I mean, why? If you had a blooming arm amputated or something, they wouldn't let you keep your blooming disembodied arm or something, would they? I've complained in the past about games that just start off really hard. I mean, this seems to have the opposite effect. It's level three before you're even threatened. I think you could have done with walking a bit faster, to be honest. I mean, this really does get like, repetitive. We've been walking very slowly around mazes and things. The cover of this game actually looks really good. Kind of like a weird horror film. This Dizzy being chased by this psycho chef with a flipping great meat cleaver. There's this burger with eyes and fangs. I mean, Dizzy Panic had a really good cover. It was him being chased by all these killer giant toys and things. I mean, a proper Dizzy game set in a giant toy factory or a weird toy land thing it could actually be a good idea for a game. At last, a ghost. It's not really a ghost, is it? It looks like a marshmallow with legs or something. This game is from 1989, by the way. I think it was converted to just about every system. And the Amiga version, the background's all really cluttered up with stuff, so it's difficult to see what's going on. That's what tends to happen in 16-bit versions of 8-bit games. And this was the start of them experimenting with Dizzy. In other words, putting him in any old pop and seeing if it will sell. Oh, and these animation sequences. I mean, the first time you see them, they're vaguely amusing. Then you've got to sit through them every time you play. They just get flipping tedious after a while. It's, ah, ha, ha, yeah, very funny. Yeah. They happen once every three levels. There's a shield there, if you get that you can, I think you're immune and you can probably kill the you know, walking bowler hat or whatever it is. There was another dizzy game on the spectrum called Quick Snacks. That was much better than this. You had to push a lot of blocks around so it involved a lot of strategy. What that was, was Coca-Cola or something. You wouldn't drink Coca-Cola in blue fast food places. It's not proper blue fizzy, it's just blue water with this brown dye stuff they put in it. Oh, I mean, this, this is just slow. Or whether it was intended for little kids or something. I mean, even they get stored with it after a while. Oh, finally, we've actually got some sort of a threat here. Yes, you go into fast food restaurants, eat pizzas and fried chicken and burgers. You can end up the same shape as Dizzy. There's a thing there that looks like a backward sign off a DVD player or something there. Makes them go slower. Or should that be even slower? A fast forward one. We really need to get one of those, make them go faster. There are all these people suing fast food restaurants because they've. Cause you've made us fat. You've gone into your fast food restaurant for years now, eating in there, and now we're overweight. Well, duh. And this is all there is, all the way through it. Like I said it could have been a bit faster. Yeah, get the 
horrible fizzy drink that'll probably give you the flipping upset stomach. Avoid this walking bogey or whatever it is. You get the sealed, you can kill them. I think that deal with Happy Eater fell through. I and mean, that was why they put Dizzy in it. They didn't want to let the game go to waste. They could just put some other character in it, couldn't they? There's a speedy up thing. Would have been helpful if he'd been a bit faster to begin with. I mean, plodding around this flipping maze, I mean, it just gets tedious. Oh, Chase is flipping things around all over the place. Now we've got another bit of animation coming out. Yes, will Dizzy escape the walking mushroom? Yeah, cheerio then. Well, I will say this. I mean, this game is certainly not the worst Dizzy game out there. I mean, it's an idea done badly, as opposed to things like Panic Dizzy and Bubble Dizzy, which are just ideas that should never have been done at all. I mean, it is at least better than some of them have been rubbish that they've been put Dizzy into. In the instructions, it says those little whatever they are have got individual personalities. Well, yeah, well, you can see that, can't you? I mean, that, that blue one's obviously a womanizer. I think that green one's probably a vegetarian. I mean, it probably will be after eating here. Oh, and now he's been surrounded by the little glove puppets or whatever they are. These little glove puppets that look like that. That they had five legs, that must be spiders or something. And I think there are 30 levels altogether. Oh yeah, and after the 30th screen, it's in the instructions, be prepared for a big surprise. The surprise is that if I actually found out when I owned this game years ago, you have random screens from this game, except they're upside down. It just seems like a flipping cheap way of extending the game, but there we are. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be playing this for much longer. I mean, this is all there is to it. There's just not really anything else to see, to be quite honest. I mean, you want a Pac-Man thing to be faster than this, don't you? Have some sort of a challenge, maybe. You get, yeah, you lose a life once in a blue moon, but apart from that, you're just the thing wandering about. I don't know whether a lot of people bought this thinking it was a proper Dizzy game. Oh, i just seen Dizzy on the cover or something and not looked at the back. A lot of popular computer game characters go like this. They realise they're into a good thing. They start putting them in a load of old rubbish and hope it will help it sell. I mean, it's Sonic R on the sand. What a complete blame waste of space that was. All it does is just diminish the character. He will no longer associate them with decent games and that. It's less likely to be interested in their games in future. Oh yeah, let's get the burger, let's get the chicken. Let's get the other stuff, make ourselves completely sick. I obviously like to give the chicken a sporting chance in this restaurant. What's that he's got to get? A giant easter egg or something? It's hilarious. And like I said, this is not the worst Dizzy game, but it's still just slow. Oh, 